Osasuna, who are just like licorice all sorts. You do not know what you're getting from them, but they will have a go, and they <laughs> do have good quality. They're plus 230, okay? Atletico Madrid are plus 120. Now, Atletico Madrid, it is no good. It's like having an ashtray on a motorbike. It is useless going and beating Real Madrid in the local derby 3-1 and then going to Osasuna and not winning. Osasuna cannot defend crosses or diagonal balls into the box. Brings in Morata scoring from his head. Draw plus 245 is a chance. But please, Klaus, tell me how Atletico Madrid do not win this game. They're better than Osasuna. Osasuna don't, don't keep clean sheets. Atletico have, are stronger and they must back up that Madrid derby result. Well, on this one, I'm going to be like that smoker, that cigarette smoker that tries to quit and tells everybody else to quit, but he can't quit himself. Uh, last week, I did tell Oaks not to, you know, I'm like, I hope he doesn't put his money on Atletico Madrid ever again. But guess what? I'm going to put money on Atletico Madrid this week because of this win, simply because of this win against Real Madrid. I feel like that could be finally a boost. Like you said, if they if they don't win, this is just going to be so disappointing. I'm already disappointed at the top with so many teams. Villarreal has disappointed me. Real Sociedad, Real Betis. And it's like I'm I'm waiting to see an Atletico Madrid a little different after this little boost because let's not forget, I, and, and it's funny because I did say, and I'm going to repeat it, and I still think the fact that Real Madrid is Atletico Madrid's dad, and I, I confirm that. I'm not going to change my opinion because of a game. But I do think this game is going to be a little boost. Look, Osasuna has not had a great season. So far, they've not been what we expected. Or maybe they have been what we expected, which is middle table, three-fourths of the table, and that's about it. I mean, no European competition. We know that already. We know how Oaks feels about them. He hates them. So the fact that, you know, Atletico comes up from a hard win against Madrid, I do see them scoring. Again, it's not a team that scores a lot. Don't get fooled about that game with Granada. That was one in, in a lifetime, literally once in a lifetime, especially under the management of Diego Simeone. So I do think they're going to score at least one or two. But they should be able to comfortably win this match. I mean, look, plus 120, I think that's a great number for them to score over one and a half, plus 120 as well. That one's a little more risky, but hey, what the hell? Like, I, I have to see Atletico Madrid scoring two goals. If you score three on Madrid, you have to score two on Osasuna. So this game is the one I'm going with just because of the fact that it has so many good numbers. You can go with Atletico Madrid to win. You can go over one and a half, and you're still getting positive numbers. So if you're trying to put some money, this is the one I think to look at. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um... Atletico Madrid to win on the road, plus 120 against an Osasuna side who cannot defend. Uh, they mark space instead of men, uh, but they will have a go. Is this one of those you could be a little bit more greedy, though, Oaks, and go Atletico Madrid to win and both teams score? Yeah, I. Uh, for me, it just kind of depends. Um, you know, Osasuna, I do like some of the things they do offensively. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, you know, uh, hold on one second here. I should have flipped this earlier. Uh, Lino put in two great crosses. I mean, he put that first cross to Morata on his first finish. You can't yeah. put in a better ball than that. Morata didn't have to do anything. He just had to be there and have a head on his shoulders. Well, if um, Jocelyn had done it, he would have hit the bar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm a cruel uh, man. I'm a cruel man, listen, but you led I, me to it. So, um, yeah, Atleti, you you need to win here. I know it's four games in 10, 12 days, whatever it's going to be. Um, I, I could honestly see him resting Morata, to be honest with you, too. Uh, you know, with Memphis coming on late as a substitute, I know he's been injured. You probably want to get him some tick and make sure that he has – his legs under him for your upcoming UCL matches where you're going to need to rotate and play multiple strikers. So I could see Memphis potentially getting the start here and then Morata coming on in about the 65th minute, just depending on how Memphis is feeling. Um, and I don't hate that either because I like what Memphis brings to the table. He's going to bring you farther shots from distance. Um, you know, he's got a lot more of a leg that he can put some power behind. So it does kind of change up what Atleti can do. I thought Griezmann played well. Um, Koke, he deserves a card from that ta from the, the tackle he put on Rodrigo. He's also a scumbag. Leave and, it, leave it, leave it. And I'm will get scumbag. a card here. <laughs> he will get a card here. He's a scumbag. Like, he's going to get a card here. Just leave it. It's gone. Sometimes it's best to walk away. And yeah. just I mean, let, if you're going to meet him at 
three to one to get a card here, I'm taking him for a booking. Oh, yeah, against Osasuna, though. And Osasuna don't mind uh, putting their foot in, especially if things are not going their way. Let's have a little yep. look at the official picks because this could be the gift on the La Liga board this week because we've got Atletico Moneyline at plus 120 for Klaus and myself and Oaks. I think we both agree with that. Um, maybe if Morata plays, anyone that can head the ball, maybe even one of the centre-backs. Have a little look at them for any time goal scorer because Osasuna cannot head the ball in their own box.